heaven. It's like boxed heaven. I've never seen this many consoles, this grade of consoles, the OG consoles and some newer ones all lined up like this, just in a giant row. He's got them set up. Thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. So Ricky and I are driving about two hours away to Oxnard to hopefully find some sealed games. We found actual seals instead so far and I never realized a pack of seals up close smell like literal garbage. The heck? Dude, we found games. Sealed! <laughs> what? <laughs> Never in my life. This what are your What are your thoughts on all those, all those seals right there, dude? That was a lot of seals. That's that's pretty cool. But man, they, not gonna lie, they stinky. <laughs> all right, so we've been driving for like an hour and a half. We're gonna meet up one of our buddies and we're gonna buy a ton of his collection. Well, collection storage. It's uh, we're getting a lot of good stuff. We. Technically, we don't know what half the stuff is, but the stuff he did show us was amazing. So be prepared, guys. It's gonna be great. Be prepared. <laughs> so we get here, and our homie has heaven. It's like boxed heaven. I've never seen this many consoles, this grade of consoles, the OG consoles and some newer ones, all lined up like this, just in a giant row. He's got them set up. I'm ready like to see. Christmas morning. It's Christmas morning. <laughs> it does feel like Christmas. Really? Look at all this. <laughs> Look at this, this is like my, look at that, Altered Beast Genesis, 16-bit goodness right there. Ricky, like, not to jump ahead of you, but look below you. Even has like the Yoshi, one of the most iconic images ever, Yoshi Mario Super Nintendo display, which we'll go into a little later. This couldn't have been a better pull up for Ricky and I. Probably the greatest moment we've ever pulled up to something ready to film, just all laid out. This is, this is the, this is, this is the main reason we, why, Technically, we we contacted each other, but look at this. You ready for this? Oh my oh. gosh, it's so perfect too. It's never been taken out of plastic. Never been taken out? Hardware's still in there. Don't tell me that. Yeah. Where'd you get it from? Um, somebody that owned a rental shop. Oh, like a video game rental store? Yeah. The, oh my gosh. Video games, VHS. Oh, are these the ones? Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, I forgot about the two in the bottom. Oh my gosh, look at this double dragon. We got Akari Warriors 2. This this is one of my favorite ones. Look at that cover. Ghosts and Goblins. Simon's Quest. We got the, the Adventure of Link. These are sealed though. Legend of Kage. Legend, that's pretty cool. And then this was just all out like hardcore man's man. Dirty Harry. So good. Oh my gosh, dude, there's so much. One of the most iconic images within Sega besides Sonic on the original Genesis, and that's Altered Beast, the big giant box. Altered Beast. <laughs> yeah, one of them's brand new. I don't know which one is. These are, I've actually never never opened one in a box before. I've always wanted one of these, but I've never, I've never seen one. So here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna see how, oh, look at that foam. No game, but still, look. This was from a, you can tell it was from a rental store. Video at the Shores. Dude, you could rent it with the box? This is awesome. Hey bro, what's up with all the seals over there? Oh yeah, sea lions. Yeah, they took over the little beach over there. Oh, we started laughing. Okay, I was we like, wait, is this normal? I live by the beach yeah. my whole life and never see this many seals. This box speaks to everything Altered Beast is. It's giant, it's, bur it's burly, oh, it's oh. big, it's beefy, and that's what Altered Beast is. I feel like when they did this as a console bundle, bundle the, the box being so big, just felt like it was right at home with Altered Beast. In the arcade version of Altered Beast, the ending of the game, it's implied that the whole game is an elaborate play with monsters and characters being actors in a costume. Visual show, speed show, 
If you remember, just a few weeks ago, I got this mega box for the Sega Master System with the Sega 3D glasses. Here, a different console box variant. Thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. War Thunder, the most realistic combat vehicle simulator to ever exist. Break through enemies' defense lines or patiently knock them one by one. It is your choice how to devastate their forces on lands, skies, or even seas. Dive into a stunningly detailed warfare of tanks, warplanes, battle cruisers, and enjoy tough battles and multiplayer combats with millions of players all around the world. Choose from over 2,000 incredibly detailed vehicles, you can pick from 10 factional tech trees. Hop into a tank and immerse into a hearth of ground battle. Support your team by an artillery, barrage from Earth, or drop tons of explosives on enemies' heads from bird's eye, while enormous dreadnoughts sink each other on one of many maps War Thunder suggests. Fields of explosion craters and rusting armor holes are waiting for you. War Thunder is completely free and available on PC, PS5, and Xbox. Join us by using the link below and even get the rich bonus pack waiting only for you. Premium vehicles, premium account, and unique decorator for your machine of war will make your experience much more exciting. Don't forget to follow the link below the video and dig into the world of endless warfare. War Thunder. Check this out, Ricky. He said one of these master systems has like the plastic on it and everything still. Might be this one. Oh yeah, it's or no, I can't tell. No, it's not that one. All right, let's see. One. Let's see. I'll yeah, pull this baby out. Ready? One. Let's see. So many people have made fun of like the grid look that that's what they went with like even on the box art but i never like thought it was dumb until like people on youtube are like hey that's dumb that's really basic but i'm like i always like learn to like it and learn to love it this is an unbelievable condition now i have to admit when i looked at it the box I was like this looks great but then we pop the box open and lo and behold inside of the box everything is brand new. So we didn't say that most of this stuff came from a rental store. So this one, obviously the Sega Master System was bought to be rented out, probably pop the, slice the tab on there and then put it with all of the rotation of Sega Master Systems to be rented out. The reveal. Oh, dude. Wow. Look at that. So you even have the foam in place. So you have the Master System, you have both controllers, light phaser. This is still in the bag. The foam is still there, which you never see the foam. Jeez. How, how many There's two master systems and one, two, three, four Altered Beast Genesis. <laughs> and then I think a model two or yeah. three, maybe two. Two, yeah, two. two. The box must have gotten lost in rotation because when you see things like this, it was probably put at the bottom of the pile of Sega master systems. They probably just rotated in and out and never put that one in there because that one was opened, never touched. The, everything's Sega meant. challenges you with the ultimate video games. Games that'll blow you away. If you're growing up now, something you didn't really ever get to experience was rental cases. Rental cases was huge. And yes, they're just hard shells, which the good ones would have like Sega written on it, which are super awesome. All right, so this is pretty cool. Sega, not one, but hold on, hold on. This thing to fall. Two Sega Game Case rentals. That is pretty cool. Are they Genesis? They're there's nothing inside. Okay, it's the rental case. But the rental case, yeah, for, for Genesis. But besides that here, we're seeing like N64s with beautiful condition boxes. Look at this, Ricky, the N64. Why don't you pull that puppy It's off? box only, but that's a clean. it's a beautiful box. That paper loss, that's it. Dude, did you see that, that uh, Genesis right there? And then also there's a Genesis here. Again, the box for the console is amazing. It's just the box with the console, but the console's in mint condition. The box itself is in great condition. It's pretty darn unbelievable. Jomi, Jomi, Jomi. 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 Actually, this is it. There's only a plug right now. Oh, there's only a plug in the console? Literally, it looks like it's never been touched. So, it's just, it just comes to the box, but still. Wow. That's really clean. Look how clean it is. <laughs> this, this is awesome stuff. I always love seeing box stuff. And this much box stuff in one location, it's pretty amazing. Throwback. It's 1992. You've played Duck Hunt a million times. You've played Wild Gunman a million times. You're getting bored of your zapper. Insert the Super Scope 6. You're looking at the next breakthrough for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Introducing Super Scope 6. Super Scope 6. Beautiful, giant, uh, just a little under two feet long. So the zapper was, you know, it's the zapper. It's great. It's awesome. Everybody, it's the most iconic thing in the world. 
but the Super Scope is a mega blaster. I feel like it was perfect for its time, 1992, the 90s. We got Rambo, Stallone, we got Arnold Schwarzenegger, we got all the big Buffies in the, in the world. Not literally Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but close to that. All right, Super Scope 6, would you believe early in the day I got one of these for how much, Ricky, CIV? Do you remember? At the Swami? 10 bucks. 10 bucks wow. at the Swami, yep. And from a, re a reselling booth. Wow. Like straight up from a booth with a ton of stuff. He was just like, yeah, cool. 10 bucks. I was like, okay. Well, I will take it. So this is new in box, but open. oh yeah, look, check this out. The batteries are still sealed. So this was opened, but never used. So it's, it's basically new. I know you can't technically say sealed, but new. Banger games on this. Yoshi Safari huh. Super Scope. The soundtrack for it. Now we're back and you heard it. It's such a great soundtrack. It is interesting that it never gained nearly as much traction as the Zapper. I feel like when you show anybody who, you know, isn't even really a gamer, you're like, dude, do you remember the Zapper? They're like, totally, I remember Duck Hunt. But nobody is ever like, I remember playing Bazooka Blitzkrieg or Yoshi Safari. No one, nobody does. Those games need some more love. So wait, Z-Bag inside. You can see it's... right here what they wrote on the outside. Genesis. Genesis. <laughs> who does that? Who is on the, the Nintendo <laughs> Z-Bag? Who defaced this? This is this is a mystery bag. Let's see what it is. Oh, baby. Yeah. Sega Saturn. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's what I'm talking about. You do love yourself some I Saturn. do love me some Saturn. Saturn's so good. What's your favorite Saturn game? Ooh, uh, I think it'd have to be a fighter. It'd have to be... Uh, X-Men versus Street Fighter. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. It's so good. The, I think the Sega Saturn truly does have like some of the best like fighting game. Fighting? It's got some insane shoot 'em ups that you, like, you don't hear about. I'm like, oh, really? That was in there? What's interesting about the control deck or even really Nintendo box variants in general is I feel like that's something that's become so popularized during the collecting days. I feel like back in the, well, actually not. I feel like I know. Back in the day when you go to different friends' houses and they had like the NES set or different versions, the control deck, whatever it may have been, the deluxe set, nobody ever talked about what set they had. Also, I never realized that the boxes are exactly the same height, but they're obviously, you know, a little more added to it. It was never something that like I thought about, like what version of the box do you have? Because I guess back then it didn't really matter. As long as you had the Nintendo, that's all people cared about. Free. Includes Super Mario Bros. Game Pack. Game Pack. And doesn't like register in your brain like game pack? Yeah. Game pack, that's what you're calling it? Go on the spellbinding adventures of Super Mario Bros. Can you help Mario through eight worlds and 32 levels to rescue the princess? Can I don't you? think in my life I've ever read that. Like I actually just like read it to see what it says. A unique pop in and pop out front loading system. It's just weird like I get it, but I've never like read the way they branded it back in the day and the way they said it. Also, the most famous, who likes this? The Nintendo not on, <laughs> nor any cords coming out of the back. It's just, uh, you know, some kids fake plan. So, I, this is what I want like my high school picture to be, like me just with <laughs> Nintendo and Sega stuff. For me, I know I had, I think it's the deluxe set is the one that came with uh, Rob the Robot. I know for me, robotic operating buddy Rob was a go-to. We actually were one of the few people who used it all the time to play Gyromite. It was an awesome way to play video games, a little slow, but never complained about it. So the control deck here, beautiful. Uh, mystery bag, let's guess, mystery so bag. guess, 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 guess. You can't feel it. Okay. I'm Back guessing yeah, uh, Nintendo. You're gonna say Nintendo? What I'm gonna say, say it. now I'm gonna cheat too. I'm gonna say that's gotta be a Nintendo. It's gotta be. Watch. Not, it's it's a Super square. Nintendo watch. It's very square. Oh, yeah, 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 there it is. It looks like we know our consoles. What's this say on the top? Controller deck, AC adapter, controller R1 RF switch, gun. But, oh, checklist. so that's what you, yeah, that's your Rental checklist. checklist. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty cool. Rental plan. Lisa needs braces. Rental plan. I think it's got all the plugs right here too. Yeah. So we're good, yeah. Game Boy, big. Big, big boy is what I'll call it. Ready? Let's open it, Ricky. Jared, insert chest sound effect from Zelda. Oh, wow. So, it's so funny. It's like all these expensive games and I'm like, dude, sweet, Blades of Steel. <laughs> it's like my favorite game of the bunch. Final Fantasy Legend, Final Fantasy Legend 2. Final Fantasy Adventure. Final Fantasy Pack, James Bond. Holy moly, Pokemon. 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 Oh, Pokemon. Dude, my heart. My Pokemon. Heart. <laughs> my Wave heart. race. 
Mortal Kombat 2, Mario Tennis, and Bo Jackson. Ending with the biggest banger, Bo Jackson. <laughs> wow, dude. And then a Game Boy Color just looking hot. I can't believe it. A sealed Modern Warfare 3 Xbox 360 set. I've never seen one sealed in my life. It's crazy because Call of Duty in general, especially on the Xbox 360, is probably one of my most played video games of all time. Check this out. This is sealed, Ricky. Let's, let's... Let's open it up and check. Dude, that brings back memories right there. So, Ricky and I, I would say, the some of the most times, besides when we were younger, time spent playing video games together would be Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2 on the Xbox 360. The amount of hours that we have into this is quite literally good and embarrassing, I would say. Like, endless hours of playing. Wow, so this is sealed, and these are, I know these themselves can be pricey, so. One controller can go for 150. The Modern Warfare series, top, 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 top tier. So it's our favorite console of all time. The Game Gear. Yeah. Actually, that's really clean. That's yeah. really clean. Yeah, it's like clean. That's a clean meaning. Now the question of all questions, does it work? I didn't test it. Oh. <laughs> oh, game Gear. <laughs> no, game Gear. never been batteries in it. Look at the, the pin on the back. Let's see. Oh yeah. oh yeah, I think that's unused completely. Yeah. That's unused. It's like still shiny inside. Oh, those were the days. You could turn it into TV. Wow, excellent with headphones. Somebody on, Grandpa. Oh dang, it's heavy. I think it's got it all in there. Oh, there's no room over there anymore. So let's go. Over. Let's, let's, let's go here real quick. Let's see what it's got. Okay, oh, looking yeah, good, looking good. Got the top, the top layer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. oh mama. I keep getting blown away by the condition of all these consoles. Like, holy moly. One of my, Ricky pointed this out. It's one of my favorite things. What is that, Ricky? <laughs> Zelda 3, a game that never came out. They should have busted that out during uh, the Super Nintendo mini days, like they did the Star Fox one. I mean, technically, is it um, uh, Link to the Past? Technically, it is. Is it, is it Link to the Past? Is Zelda 3 technically Link to the Past? I think so, just like that. Yeah. So, Atari Warriors 2. I don't know, it's interesting looking at these two. I feel like these are two games that I could almost say I probably played equal amount of time. And I don't think as many people loved Akari Wars as much as I love Akari Wars. Look at this, man. Really? Part two and three are both really good, actually. Double Dragon, again, not multiplayer, like the Sega Master System version. It's still a superior version. The music, Double Dragon, the fighting versus level, one on one, a Bobo versus your character, just with that music is just a god level thing. We're gonna have the audience guess. Which one of these games do you think I played the most, audience? Dun, dun, dun. Everyone's gonna guess this. Wrong. Wrong. The most garbage playable game of all of them. <laughs> Tons of hours on Legend of Kage. The Legend of Kage. Family Computer Software. It's not that good of a game at all, but it's memorable for us. It reminds me of like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. It's very like, you can jump and float through the sky and throw ninja stars like this. It's very weird. Super fun for childhood, I wouldn't say. $25. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> it, still has the price it is sealed, though. Look at, even if you look at, look how garbage the back is. In Legend of Kage, the player takes the role of a young Aiga ninja named Cage, or Kage as I found out later, on a mission to rescue Princess Kiri, the Shogun's daughter, from the villainous warlord Yoshi and fellow evil samurai Yuki. Now the game does sound pretty good, and I'll be honest, it's 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 not the best game, but it's a childhood nostalgia game. It's one of those games that you'll defend, you know, when you go back, people are like, I promise you, this is such a good game, but then you go back and play it and you're like, it's really not that good, but for you and where your nostalgia holds it, it's that game for you. So Legend of Kage, Tons of hours. It's actually the game when I sent all this stuff to my brothers. I'm talking, I sent them all the, these pictures from all this stuff that day. Check out this, I got the Nintendo, this crazy, this super rare, this, and they're like, yo, Legend of Kage, that game is sick. So, it's just a childhood love. Still love it. The music sucks. Yo. Ricky. Yeah. Which one's your most played childhood game of these right of here? Of these right here? Of these right here, which one did you not, I'm not saying which one did you like the most, I'm saying which one did you play the most? Which one did I play the most? Yep. <sighs> It'd probably have to be Double Dragon. That's probably the one I played the most. The least? My dirty hair. <laughs> now, which is your favorite game of them? My favorite game? 
Ooh. I hate it, but I love it at the same time. Really? Ghosts and Goblins, because it was so hard for me, but I loved it. That's low key. I'm ready for the internet. Yeah. Loki Prime, my least favorite in the bundle. <laughs> I know which one your favorite is. I can, I can, I can spot it right away. What is it? Link to. Yeah. <sighs> I couldn't be happier for Ricky right now. He gets one of the most iconic things that he's been wanting forever. I've been watching Ricky look this thing up on eBay for years. All right, let's hear a little bit more about this. And it's the Super Mario, Super Nintendo, Super Mario World, Mario Riding Yoshi promo store display. All right, there we go. So it's the Super Nintendo store promo. You used to hang it right here, and this beauty, beauty would hang and just spin while you came into the store. I think this was for rental stores and the game stores. And that's never been used, I'm guessing? Never been out of the plastic. Dude, this thing is amazing. The worst part is, I, whenever I, try, I used to try to go buy some of these, I'd get there and it's only half of it. Because you can split it, and I'm not doing that. Dude, it's never seen the sun. It's barely, no. yeah, never seen the sun. Usually they have like a little bit of yellow here and there. Oh, this is great. This is great condition. This is really good. I'm freaking excited for this. Oh, it has the paperwork. Oh, <laughs> Curtis, where are you? <laughs> Yo, dude. No way. Dude, that makes it way sicker. Yeah. In a Super Nintendo age, in the Super Nintendo era, is like probably the most iconic thing you could tell me in video games. You know, the that period of Mario, to me, is like the iconic Mario. Some people might say it's 64, or even some people might say Switch or original NES. Mine was Super Mario World this time. So for Ricky to get it, been looking for years, not only just to get it, to get it in the box with the original manual, with the original hardware, unused, double-sided, primo, I couldn't be happier for Ricky. It's This is one I'm not even like in my brain like jealous of because I'm like, you've been wanting this for years. It's yours, my man. Introducing the next generation from Nintendo. New Super Mario World, created especially for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Now it's time for the crazy part. Ricky and I are gonna take everything and kind of separate it out. Okay, we, we've got all this. We're buying all this, by the way. Everything you see, we've already committed to buying it all. But who's buying what? What is Ricky getting? What am I getting? It's time to separate. No fighting. Still a little negotiable. Oh, oh, you're the man. Even Thank you. Dude. Price, still, still Thank you. Yes. So, so what we're doing right now, tell him, Ricky. We're separating everything because, you know, we're gonna we're we're splitting it, and we're just trying to figure out prices at the same time. Figuring out who's getting what. Who's getting what? Pretty much. Ricky hooked up this deal, so he's I'm getting him first dibs of what he wants, and then we'll split the rest. And now, take a look at Ricky's haul. Beautiful, magnificent, stellar, wonderful haul. And now, my haul. Check it out, whose is better? Is mine better? Is Ricky's better? I like mine better. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed that this is what we're filling Ricky's truck with, that we're going home with this. Again, I was in pure excitement. I probably sent this to like 20 different people while we were buying this stuff. Pictures, images, look at this, look at that, look at that, I couldn't believe it. Again, still weird that my brothers were most excited about Legend of Kage. Let's go. What is that? Oh, look, super push design. And after thousands and thousands of dollars spent, was this worth it? Yes. I have been saying it for the, maybe the past two, three years now that I have just found so much more enjoyment of the journey than the actual items because it all plays part in its ecosystem what it is. I just have more fun than ever waking up early with my best friend, driving out, going far, being on adventure, not knowing what we're finding, feeling new nostalgic memories hitting, seeing my brother's reactions and my friend's reactions. This kind of stuff is just some of the best memories that you can make, and today is by far one of those days where I made some of the best memories. Receive a load of bonuses and temporary game boosters, including an awesome 3D decorator for your vehicles. Not on Nintendo Switch Lite, but War Thunder is available on PC, PS5, and Xbox. Hurry up and join us. Don't forget to follow the link below the video and dig into the world of endless warfare. War Thunder.